Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing and installation of a couple of front seat floor mats for a 2020 Chevy Suburban. Uh, today we're gonna to be working on its GM part number 841-85470. So let's get into the box and start unpacking these. Here, got the driver's side. These have the, this part number has the uh, kind of a gray plastic bow tie here. Uh, I know there's some other part numbers out there that have kind of a chrome, uh, a chrome inlay here. Wasn't exactly sure when I purchased them which one I was gonna get because the pictures are kind of, you know, a little bit deceiving online which one you're gonna get. Uh, but these were, I guess these ran about $100, 90 some dollars. Uh, before shipping so this one's got the it's kind of a grayish almost olive drab uh, plastic bow tie it's riveted on the back side which is good that means it's not going to be shouldn't be coming off it's not uh, not just glued in uh, so that's good and again lots of ribbing on the back uh, good structure for the for the rubber uh, so that shouldn't should be able to keep its shape not be all over the place and uh, just like the second row formats, if you watch my unboxing video and installation video on that, there is a relief or a cut uh, cut line that's in here. If you want to expose the sill plate, if you've got the you know the the chrome or, or silver sill plates that say Chevrolet, uh, you can cut that out so that you can see that instead of um, covering them up, which is what how, as they come. So. Uh, so that's the driver's side. Passenger side, very similar, similar kind of, similar bow tie inlay here with the plastic. Uh, some pretty deep ribbing on the rubber. And I like that these are, are they, they really feel like a rubber and not, not a plastic. Uh, so should get some good traction and still kind of have a good, good feel, not get hard over time. Although we'll see what happens with that. Um, again, a lot of deep structure on the back side that'll make it keep its shape. So, so far, I think these look great. I'll go ahead and get them in the truck and see how they fit. Okay, so here we are. This is uh, this is the floor mat that came with my, came with my vehicle. I guess it was just the basic uh, basic carpet floor mat. Pretty pretty flimsy. So we'll we'll get rid of that. And we have the the new floor mat to go in. Do this with one hand. It goes very, very high up the side. Here we go. So I'll let it kind of find its home. All right, and here, here we go. All right, now that's got it installed. So yeah, it goes very high up the side. A lot of good protection of the carpet, which will be good. Um, custom molded to the inside of the of the body, so it fits very well. It fits very snug. Should not be moving around. And as I mentioned, we got the the sill plate here, the Chevrolet logo. So there's a line on the inside. You see the little scissors there. We just cut right along this line that will expose the sill plate. So I'll probably do that here in the future, but. If you watch my video of the second row installation, um, this is very similarly constructed and uh, would provide a good uh, good protection against dirt and mud or snow, anything that the elements that may get into your vehicle and save your carpet. So this is made very very much the same way and should perform should perform perform well. So let's go and do the driver's side. Okay, now on to the driver's side. So we'll take out the existing mat. Now there is a there was a little instruction sheet uh, that came with uh, attached to the driver's side that has just some instructions on how to you know, how to remove the mat 
basically making sure that you're using these you know these uh, little hooks fasteners on the inside so that you don't get your floor mat moving around under your pedals so let's uh, similar way we'll go ahead and get the this one installed all right that one went on uh, pretty easy I just want to point out here these are the little fasteners that you want to make sure you get them snapped on so you can see the little buttons start to come through and you push it down it'll snap and then it'll be kind of flush with the top so we'll do that for both of these and that's it and uh, you can see again goes very high up the center console wraps around this this uh, kind of kick plate very very well fits down in the groove under on the other side of this sill plate so really should not be moving around a lot so very pleased with the way these look again the quality of the rubber should last a long time and it is definitely easy to clean out all right so that's all for this installation video if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comment section and uh, have a great day